Hello everybody, I'm Jello Squid and today I am going to be doing part two of my Among Us speed paint. In the last video, I asked you guys to figure out who the imposter was and some of you guys actually did it. I was really impressed and Orange is the imposter. So the way you can tell that Orange is the imposter was that her little red baby, like on her back, it had a little smudge mark on it and I wanted to make that smudge mark not like look too much like blood because that would have been like a dead giveaway but my idea behind it was orange like killed off red because red was put into baby in danger by just accusing everybody and then orange took the baby from red this is my baby and ain't nobody finna touch him anyways on to this version so to start off with i have dark green my interactions with dark greens, they always have like this cute little flowers. They remind me of plant moms. So they got the little flower accessories, they're super chill, and they're like a task completionist. Like you will not catch them slipping. They're always out there trying to get their tasks done. They're not trying to hide behind anybody or anything. They're just getting their stuff done. At the end of the game, they'll always say like, you know, GG, good game in like the chat and stuff. And it's really nice because it's, it's cool to have uh, a person to play with that isn't like hellbent over winning you know also a cute little thing i've had one interaction where the dark green will like hang around like the little crew like if red were to die and it had its little baby just sitting there green would like go check up on it every now and then she like kind of stand by it and then she would go and finish her task and i thought that would be a little cute i want her to look very chill and relaxed because that's the people who i've been playing with and i gave her and I gave her some warm yellow eyes to show that she's like super, super sweet. She's a little warm baby. And she's got and she's got her little arms exposed and like the gloves. And it's really cute, really sweet. Not too much extra to say about dark green, but I really like it. I think she's super chill. But I really like how she came out. I think it's really cute. Now on to brown. So with brown, I wanted her to look like like an anime mom because every brown that I've played with. They are like super nice. They always start the server. I've never seen a brown be imposter. And they always have the little brown little um bear ears on. And it's like really cute because they're like a little warm, snuggly baby. I gave her the stereotypical dead anime mom side braid in her hair and she's smiling. I took like a lot of inspiration from Retsu Unohana from Bleach, because I feel like her and Brown would have like the same vibe where they're like, okay, this person is respectable. Uh, don't mess with them though. <laughs> I gave her a full body coverage type spacesuit because I feel like that would be a little bit more mature. She was like, I don't know. It just has that air about it. I don't know. I really like it. I think it's super cute. I think I did pretty cool. This is, this is pretty good. On to purple. So when I play with purples, as everybody knows, it's always purple sus no matter who is playing with who if you log into the chat or if you're doing a discord thing it's always purple sus purple sus like right off the bat for no reason and it's kind of funny but it gets a little old but oh well uh any purple i've played with they've had little bat wings most of the time and they have a little crew with them so it's really cute it's like um it's really sweet uh but the purples they they kind of have to be reminded to vote i've noticed like they'll space out in the middle of like voting and we're like hey man you're the last person could you could you pick something and then like they'll see it and they won't vote and then we're sitting there for like a, a, like until the timer runs out even though we've already voted and it's like ugh, please purple peace i thought it'd be cute to have like a little mini crew at the bottom say back off me 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 because people are like telling them, hey, you need to vote. And like the little crew's like, stop overwhelming her. Even though she's not really overwhelmed, she's just not even paying attention and she's confused. <laughs> so, anytime I've ever seen a purple, they've always been in medbay. I call them a medbay stan. That's really funny to me. So, for purple's design, I gave her cute big old pigtails, these cute little side pieces that come out from the top of them. So I thought I wanted her to be a little bit more unique than have like the basic, like, you know, pigtails. I wanted to give her a little bit extra, a little oomph, a little cute oomph. And I gave her a little puzzled expression to show that she's like thinking really hard, but she's not actually thinking really hard. She's just out. She's just spaced out. 
That's probably why she's about to get voted off. So, anyway, <laughs> on to yellow. So, I made a little mistake with yellow. Her final palette, it looks a little bit too orange. But that's because I got carried away. <laughs> anyway, so with yellow, yellows along with limes are paranoid, paranoid little little things, little paranoid babies. I gave her like a super, she's like, she's like timid, she's like spooked, and she's like messing with her hands because she's trying to calm down. She's got like a little bit of anxiety. And yellows will always follow you around. Even if it makes them look sus, they don't want to be left alone. They want to have an alibi and they don't want to get killed. They just, they want to survive the match. <laughs> Whenever a body is discovered, they're always like, where, where, I was with, you, you can't say that I did anything. And if they do say something weird, then they're gonna be like, oh no, I, no, that wasn't me. You're, 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 you're pointing fingers wrong. And sometimes y'all know how it is whenever you vote early, like you, uh, you suspect somebody, but it wasn't actually them. They're always the person to jump the gun and just vote right off the bat. And then like, if they're wrong, they'll show up next round and say, sorry, I panicked. And then get voted out next. <laughs> I gave Yellow the little dumb sticky note because I normally have it because, you know, yellow and yellow. And I gave her, like, cute, fluffy, big ol' hair because I really like how that looks. I think it's really, it's, I think it's unique. I haven't seen hair like that since, um, since I was, like, younger. This is back whenever I would watch uh, Adult Swim. I really like that hairstyle. I think it looks really cute on her. I think it makes a look. She's got cotton candy hair. If cotton candy was like a yellow flavor. I think they have yellow cotton candy. Uh, anyway, this is my yellow. I think she's super cute. She's really sweet looking. And she also looks very, very spooked. Like, oh no, something's an electric. Ah, like little spooked baby. But she's sweet. Anyway, now on to the spookiest looking one. We got the black crewmate. So... This crewmate in particular, I associate them with corpse. Y'all y'all probably already know who corpse is. But um, I associate black with corpse and also the imposter because the um, people that have that color palette, they always are able to like blend into the shadows, especially whenever the lights go out and someone needs to fix them. And it's actually like a really beneficial color to play as if you're gonna be imposter because of that, it gives you a lot of advantages. So I always think that if you're playing as black, you're immediately suspicious because of those advantages. So I wanted to make her like a little bit ominous, like a little creepy. It's like you can't see the white of her eyes. It's like completely black, like like darkness. And she's got little spiky teeth and she's got like a cute little hairstyle. But it's also a little bit menacing because she's cute, but she's also threatening. So for this crewmate specifically, I've always seen them like looming in the shadows and they're like silent but deadly. And no matter what. They're always imposter. Like if you play a game with two or three imposters, it's always them. They're always somehow related to it. They're always related to it. And I don't know why. I think I think Among Us just has like the generator where it's like, all right, let's make let's give these people a hard time and just put black is now imposter. Done. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Ooh. And I wanted to make her a little bit more unique. Because if you look back, everyone's spacesuit, like the white part, hers is actually gray. Her thigh highs are like black so that she could blend into the shadow mo. And her overall color scheme, it's very monochrome. It kind of looks like Bendy and the Ink Machine. Oh no, I made a Bendy character. <laughs> Any anyways. But yeah, I wanted to show her like a little bit, little creepy little wave. And she's going, hi. Because she's like, mm. Like if, um, like if Stitch was an emo anime girl, bam. <laughs> and, uh, I really like her. I don't know if she's stereotypical or not, but I think she's super cute. Even if she is the biggest threat. <laughs> Alright, the overall story is orange and black are imposters. Orange gets people to trust her big sister nature, and then she attacks once suspicion of her is cleared. Pink, lime, and red will likely die from orange. Black is the most obvious choice, but because she's so obviously the imposter, no one votes her out until the very last minute. So 
black will kill dark green and brown right off the bat, blue figures out orange, and then she kicks her after convincing the crew with her knowledge on cams because the leader be sitting in the camps and she, she's seen everything. Black follows yellow around just to mess with her and Black will say that, oh, yellow vented, ha ha ha. But Cyan is too smart and she sees through Black and Black is ultimately voted out. So crewmate victory, yay. Anyways, that's all for today. I really hope you guys liked it. That's the probably gonna be the final part of my Among Us speed paint since it did all of the colors. But I had a lot of fun doing this. I really like to create this kind of content. So if you guys want to see something similar to this, then just let me know in the comments. Because I can do that. I can do that, baby. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Please follow my socials. And I'll see you next time. Bye.